it's really important. Um, I had the misfortune of working in an environment where the software side, the engineering side of the business was all, yeah, agile all the way. And we're going to do these really great practices and we really care about quality. And they did. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the product side of the business held the power and um, didn't particularly seem to care about quality. Uh, <laughs> just wanted they just wanted to check off features so they could go sell this the, the product, and they did not. You know, to me, the internal quality of the code, like I said, the executives that said, "If we hired you because you know how to develop software, we're going to support you and get out of your way." They didn't do that. They said, "Well, you know what? We are on a timeline here." And, um, you know, code quality, that doesn't belong to you. You don't get to make the decisions to have code correctness or any of those things um, or any of those good practices. It's up to us. And basically, don't ask us any questions. <laughs> and, I, you know, I I didn't actually stay a long, a long time because it just seemed like too big a cultural and power battle of fight. Mm. Um, and conversely, a good story is on my last team, we had a product owner who came from the development ranks and he had a real vision for the product, but he also had a real understanding of the importance of quality. And so he was always telling the developers, you know, let's take the time to do it right, which which I gotta say happens at Mabel as well. Take the time to do it the right way because in the long run, that's gonna save us time. And he also, would ask the team, okay, what technical debt do we have? What may we need to refactor? Let's work that in. You know, it's, of course, it's always cool to work on new features, but what what kind of things can we go in and repair so that it'll be easier to create the new features? And he did a great job of balancing those things. Okay, we don't always be working on refactoring, but but it but we want a nice code base that we don't hate going in and working on. And he just struck a nice balance. So he budgeted time, he budgeted points, for investing in the quality. And from the, from the get-go of talking about a new feature, he had the designers there, he had the customer support people there, so we knew the customer pain points. He had, you know, everybody represented, marketing, um, as well as the technical people, to talk about all those different aspects of quality. And when a product owner is that visionary and realizes there's more to quality than how does a feature behave, I think it makes a huge mm. difference. And the customers can tell.